Okay, you want to learn to double shell jump, do you? I'm gonna show you how. It's a very common misconception when you do a double shell jump to do this. Jump, throw up, do shell jump. That's probably what happens to you most times, right? You probably do this, and then you do that, and then it just... Oh! How, how do? I can do a shell jump just fine! Look at it. I can do a shell jump just fine! So first of all, let's 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 work on one. Well, let's work on one shell jump, okay? One shell jump first. There's three parts to a shell jump, right? So if you look, there's tiles. You see these tiles? This so the shell represents one tile. When you do a double shell jump, you want to be approximately two tiles away from the wall. So you'll look. That's one, two, three. Okay. So you're about approximately three tiles from the wall. Another thing you need to do is never, ever let go of jump. Never. Don't ever let go of jump. Oh, when you're doing a shell jump, always hold it. Look, look, look at my input display here. I never... I, and you know what? This is just... This is, this is a shell jump for babies. This is the baby shell jump. I don't even have... I'm doing it one-handed, okay? Like, you, you don't have to move. The key, the key is being at least two, two tiles, two tiles away, always hold jump, and look at, here, here's, here's the last tip. So if you look at Mario's animation, if you look at Mario's animation, when he jumps, he has his hand up, right? When he jumps, he has his hand up. When he's falling, his hat kind of lifts off his head. That means his, he's in the descending animation. What you want to do is you want to throw that shell right where the um right where the change is does that make sense you want to let go of that shell at the uh, where that animation would change at the peak that's considered the peak and you know what you can do a shell jump from far away you can do a shell jump from far away. You can even do it close to two tiles. But the problem is, is if you get too close and do a shell jump, you, what, you'll, you'll, what'll happen right here is you'll see the shell kind of just goes through you. So if the shell is going through you, that means you're too close to the wall. Got it? Okay. Now here's a good rhythm to understand. So say, all right, Tofu, I'm, I'm, I'm standing two tiles away. I'm always holding jump. But I keep missing. Okay, so a good reference, a good reference is if the shell kills you, you're throwing it too late. If the shell goes under you, you're throwing it too early. That is a very good reference to use when it comes to shell jumping. You know, I've been doing shell jumps for so long now, it's like second nature. You know, I like to get, you know, a little wind up and go. Now let's show you the double shell jump. So we gotta be, so, so the three points to a shell jump, two tiles away, always hold jump, throw at the peak. Got it, got it. Okay, now for the double. Now the trick to a double is don't jump throw. If you do that, it won't work. What you need to do is you need to grab it. Okay. See, you need to grab it, throw it up, shell jump and it will line up you see what I mean so first you probably want to get pretty damn good at doing a normal shell jump but the whole key is run throw that's the key does that make sense because if you do this it, it just it never works it never works it never works if you jump throw it you got to stand still and you got to throw it up. See, the reason I do my turn back is because I want to maintain that three block or that two block distance from the wall. Because if I do that, like you see the shell went right through me. Like I said, if you try and do a shell jump right next to a wall, it goes right through you. So the reason I do my turn back is because I like to maintain that distance. Because if I don't do a turn back, I'm gonna, the shell's gonna go right through me. Shell jumps to the left.
Like that? Now I'm just showing off, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not even looking. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how much they're ingrained in my head. The learn to Kaizo double shell jump is awkward because the second shell is so close. Yeah, what I recommend, if, if you're having trouble with that, what you need to do is you need to grab the first shell and set it down and reposition it. Reposition the shell. Can you explain how you hit sprint and the different jump buttons on the SNES controller? Oh, like, uh, like a hand camera? You want me to get my hand camera out? All right. I love you guys so much. You guys do so much for me. I'll pull out your hand camera. Okay. So, eh, 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 eh. Hi there. Don't mind my trash can. My trash can with all the Red Bull cans. <laughs> okay, so. This is my hands when I do a normal shell jump. When I do a normal shell jump, and look it. No, I'm not sponsored. Um, when I do a normal shell jump, look at one hand in. So when I use my thumb, I let go. I let go like that. That's how I'm letting go of my thumb. So when I when I've got the double shell jump. Does that make sense? So this is this is a double shell jump right here. See? It's it's very subtle lift off. Like that. That's how I do it. I'm not fucking Ryu car. I'm not, I'm not, I'll, let's try and do it the way Ryu does it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't. Yeah, Ryu plays like this. This is how Ryu plays. No, this is this is claw grip. When people mention claw grip, this is this is claw grip. This this right here is claw. The only the only time I ever do this is when I'm jumping off of Yoshi. If I jump off Yoshi, I will do this because you need to maintain forward momentum. Some people find it easier to do double shell jumps like this. You do one off one wall and then you do the second jump off the other. If the if the circumstance allows, I guess. You see though, if I get too close to the wall, the shell goes right through me. You got you got to maintain that distance. You got to like look at I never let go of jump. Never ever do I let go of jump when I'm doing a shell jump. See, and you got when you do the double shell jump too. If you put them too close together. What happens? Yeah, it won't work. You want, so if you're gonna do it, that's another part of doing a double shell jump. Like here, we'll die real quick. Do not compare shell jumping in Mario Maker to the same as shell jumping in SMW. So, so look real quick. Look real quick how far apart these shells are placed. You see that? Is there any time you re-grab during a shell jump? Yes. Okay, so let's 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 show that. Okay, during a standard shell jump? No. You just release to let go of the shell and then get it. And then re-grab it. So let go and then re-grab. Let go, re-grab. It's really fast. Yeah, there's about two tile that's two tile gap. And it, it sets it up to, to be perfect to where you if you keep if you keep that three space like I talk about.
It, it just works. Th this is a hard trick right here. There you go, guys. There is your tutorial on shell jumps and double shell jumps.